Welcome to this video. In this video, we will discuss about the process of 6th 5 year plan. So, the first of all, we will write the period of this 5 year plan. So, the period for 6th 5 year plan was 1980 to 1985. So, in the last video, that is the video of 5th 5 year plan, we discussed about the discontinuation of the 5th 5 year plan. So, the 6th 5 year plan we started with the year 1980. So 1980 to 1985 was the period of this 5 year plan. So first of all we will write the target growth rate. So the target growth rate of this 5 year plan was 5.2%. And the actual growth rate what India achieved in this 5 year plan period was 5.5%. So relatively all the target of this 5 year plan was achieved by the end of the year 1985. So it means all of the target was set in the year 1980. It means that the starting of this 5 year plan, we achieved more or less all the target by the year 1985. So first of all, we'll discuss about now the model. So the model developed input-output model. So this plan was based on developed input-output model. So in the last lecture, we discussed about the input-output model. Here, the developed input-output model was the major criteria of this 5-year plan. It is a perspective plan. So the perspective plan means whatever the government perspective of the next 5 to 10 years. It means from the year 1980, we flipped the Indian economy to the new era. It means to the world that slowly liberalizing. So in this 5-year plan, the perspective plan was adopted. It means after that, we will discuss about the gradual liberalization. So, gradual liberalization was one of the major criteria of this 5-year plan. The introduction of the modern technology and modern industries. So, this 5-year plan was relatively, uh, uh, relatively deviated from the 5th 5-year plan that was focused on the rural areas. So this 5-year plan will discuss about the gradual localization of the Indian industries. Because this plan was also focused on rural economy, like for example, the direct attack on poverty. It means in the last 5-year plan, we discussed about direct attack on poverty. So here in this 5-year plan, we focused on a removal of poverty through the improvement in the infrastructure of agriculture and industry. So improvement of infrastructure of agriculture and industry was one of the major criteria of for the successful of this five year plan. So the success of this five year plan was majorly focused on the lower level of administration. It means another major factor in this in the successful uh, in the success of this five year plan was the involvement of involvement of local people. involvement of local people in the policy making. So it means to understand the demand of the local people in the last year of the federal government, it means we have to understand the demand of the local level in order to formulate the policy for them. So the demand for the local people in this 5 year plan was understood and made the plan to, the, uh, to, uh, to facilitate that local economy. This plan was also uh, focused on many major programs like IRDP. IRDP one of the major programs that is Integrated Rural Development Program. Second is NREP, National Rural Employment Program because the major target of this five-year plan was removal of poverty and the increment, of, increment in the uh, rate of employment in the economy. Because gradual liberalization means we are moving towards a one a broader world. So the plan was also broad based in the, in the scenario when we understand the industrial sector of the economy. So the secondary sector performed well in this five year plan period due to, uh, due to a strong foundation led in the last five year plan that is fifth five year plan. So the developed input output model also helped Indian economy to enter into the new globalized era. The another major factor was the development of technology. 
So development of technology and the self-sufficiency in the modernization of Indian economy and that technological enhancement will improve the industrial sector. Because in the second fiber plant, we established a lot of big industries. And that is why we had to keep pace with the industrial sector in order to gain out of it. That is, invested in the second fiber plant, we need to earn some revenue also. So 1980s, uh, we grew at the uh, cost of borrowing also, but the growth was relatively better when we compare this fiber plant to the previous all previous fiber plant. This fiber plant majorly focused on rural economy, we can say that, and also increase the per capita income. After that, we can consider this plan as the gradual entry of Indian economy to the globalized world and liberalization. So we focused or we invited a lot of MNCs also, and we started uh, businessing in Indian economy. That's it for this video. I think uh, that is enough information for this fiber plan. Hope you like this video. If you have any doubt, any uh, feedback, you can mention in the comment box or you can also contact to our email ID which is given in the description of this video. Again, thank you so much. Stay connected. Please like, share and subscribe this video and also Ecoholics. So stay tuned for next coming up videos. Have a nice day.